Hey everyone, it's Dev the Nail Junkie at Bundle Monster and today we are going to be doing our manicure of the month. So a lot of you voted on what Mother's Day manicure you wanted to see and based off of that we are creating the design that you all voted for. And so you guys voted for, I think it was design one. Hey everyone. <laughs> um, so actually, our other nail stylist, Jessie, created this design, but unfortunately she's not able to be here with us today. So I will be teaching her beautiful technique that she did. And actually for this design, it looks like it's easy, but she did a lot of reverse coloring, like double and triple stamping. There's a lot going on in here when I was analyzing her design. She did a great job. So I just wanted to um, show you guys what you all voted for. And today we're gonna be focusing on nail tip two and five. That's why you see it in the opposite direction. I don't know if you guys can tell. So that way it just reminds me which ones we're gonna be working on. The rest of them, if you can nail two and five, you can definitely nail the rest of the designs. So these are probably the two most complicated. So today we are going to be working on a nail tip and I'm working on a nail tip so that way you guys can see it really big and up close because if not, you won't be able to see the designs as well on a tiny little nail. So if we work bigger, you'll be able to see a lot more. So if you guys are wondering, this is um, Uhu Putty, which is like a tacky. It's not gum. <laughs> So let's start off with tip number five. Okay, we are going to work on our base and this is a smudge cure So for those of you who are not familiar with the smudge cure you just put a bunch of polish on your lotus mat or whatever and then you smudge it with your stamper. So the colors that Jessie used for this design she has quite a few colors, but the colors that we're going to be using for this right now is the Restless Dahlia and also this really pretty green from our Perennials and Botanical Collection or Romantica Collection. And she also used this very pretty gold, which is from our Liberty Lane Collection. So. Open up your polishes, make sure you have your workstation ready. <clears throat> and let's work on our base. So you're just going to randomly apply a few dots here and there. And be generous. Make sure your dots are kind of all over the place so you have an even amount of color distribution. Then you're gonna go ahead and stamp that. And that is a smudge cure. So if you want, you can even double stamp. And then you stamp it onto the nail. And sometimes when you're doing this, you'll get these bald spots and that's okay. You can just pick up more of this. Oh. Look, I moved too slow, so now I have to do more. And you can just put it in the exact same spot. So I'm just gonna apply more polish to that same spot. And I'm just gonna pick up and go over all those spots that didn't get a design earlier. Yep, I think we are almost fully covered. And that is how you create a smudge cure. So while that's drying, we are going to work on creating the decal needed for our mom banner and these beautiful flowers that she created also. 
Jennifer, can you also get me the green that is from, I think it's called Lily Pad. I think it's that darker green. Yep. So Jennifer is here with me today. Jennifer, stick your hand inside the, the photos. We did a shoot today. So I have some nice stuff to show you. <laughs> Yeah, we have some really fun things coming up in the future. Um, so, make sure that your stamper is nice and clean. If you have a lint roller, you can go ahead and use a lint roller to clean your jelly stamper, or you can just use scotch tape. And just go ahead and clean up all that polish off of that. There you go. And next you want to grab your occasions plate BMS238. And we are going to be pulling this beautiful mom banner with these really pretty flowers. So what you want to do is take your oops, straight or straight up black and your stamper, make sure everything's ready. Because as you all know, the stamping process is quick. Pick up the design and then you can isolate it by using the end of your scraper card. And this trick only works if you move really fast. It's like you're stamping on the card. Yep. And there you go. So that will make sure that your design is nice and clean. Okay, before we color this in, I want to apply nail foil glue to the entire design. I prefer to do my reverse stamping and decal making this way instead of using a top coat. Um, I don't like the fact that sometimes with top coat, if you use top coat as an adhesive, um, if you're not careful, you might accidentally smudge your design when you're applying it onto the manicure. So I'm just going to use some nail foil glue now that my base is pretty much dry and I'm going to apply a pretty thin coat. And I'm going to let that dry. And while that's drying we're going to color in this decal. So next you are going to take your beautiful gold from Liberty Lane and you can either use a brush or sometimes I'll do this and you guys are going to see in a sec. I apply it with the big brush to kind of fill in most of the spots but then I go back with a little detail brush to fill in the other spots that I couldn't get earlier. Because if I use just a detail brush, it'll take me eons to color this in. But if I use a little bit of the big brush that comes with the polish, that kind of speeds up on time. Okay. And you can always check your work by looking that way to see if you can see the design, which I can. So now I am going to take my, I think, believe the color is called Lily Pad Green, um, and this is from our second Gen Brights collection. And I'm gonna color in, whoops, those leaves and stem. So for this, I definitely need my detail brush, and I'm using Bundle Monster 101, the premium art brush. Sometimes it's hard for me to talk and color things in at the same time. What about you guys? Because you have to be super focused, not color outside the lines. I know, especially because I'm used to working really close to my face. 
So when we do these kinds of online things, um, I have to work a lot farther away from my face than I'm used to. And even though I've done this a whole bunch now with you guys, I still struggle with um, it being so far away from my face. Also sometimes, uh, if I know that I'm going to be doing a lot of coloring in, I'll just get a really soaked acetone pad so that way I don't have to constantly like press to get the acetone out. I can just have the pad, you know, really absorbed with acetone and then um, I just kind of wipe and continue going. Okay, next you want to use, um, this is rose water from our Romantica collection, really pretty pink. And you are going to just put a really big dot here and here because the cool thing about this is once you apply that huge dot you can kind of drag it around Sometimes when I do reverse stamping, I push too hard and then I smudge the design. <laughs> yeah, you have to be really careful about that. I've done that before too. It just happens sometimes if you're coloring in. My old nail instructor she used to tell me, soft to touch, Devin, soft to touch. Well, she was Japanese, so um, <laughs> she would always try to tell me how I was like too rough. <laughs> well, you are, you are heavy, head, heavy handed with your stamping too. Yes. I noticed. Everyone knows that I have like a very heavy hand and strong hand. <laughs> so that is our pretty design. And once this is done drying, I'm going to stamp this on because this nail foil glue is going to be nice and tacky so as soon as I stamp it it's just going to work as a perfect uh, adhesive to hold that pretty stamp that we just created. You can see through the glass a little bit. Okay. So for now I'm going to put this on the side because I need to work on our other design and I'm just going to set that far away from me so I don't knock it. <laughs> and then we are going to be working on our second nail tip. Now, for the number two design that we're going to be working on, make sure you have a really nice opaque white polish. I'm using BAM White. which is really awesome because you can get pretty great coverage in one nice coat. Make sure to cap your free edge. I kind of did a lazier free edge cap because, um, you know, it's just a nail tip. But when you're working on your own nails, make sure you always cap your free edge. That'll help lengthen the time of your manicure. Okay, so let's set this aside so that way it can dry. And now we're going to use our second stamper head so that way we can work on decals because this design has a lot of double stamping and decal making. Make sure you clean off your plate. Then we're just gonna move this aside. And for this, you are going to actually be going back and forth between BMS 238 and BMS 2183. So for now, let's start off with drawing our very, very pretty leaves. So make sure you have your black polish nearby so that way you can pick up some of these leaves. Then make sure you 
clean up any of that excess polish. You don't want to get that on your design. Using the end of your stamper card, you'd, I'd hate to get all of that since we don't want that. So you can just go ahead and clean that off. Okay, now you want to color in your leaves with your lily pad green. Is this wet enough? No, it's not. Actually, I need a new cotton. I like to use this side instead, so that way all those bristles and stuff like that, or the cotton. Uh, on the brush? Yeah, because the cotton sometimes like will end up getting on the brush and it's just the worst, especially when you're coloring in. Okay, so you're going to take your lily pad green and color in these leaves again. Some people use a marble tool to color in or a wood stick. What's your preference, the brush? Um, I like the brush because uh, there's less chance of me poking the design and then ruining it. Um, a lot of times when I use the wood stick or other types of really sharp tools that aren't soft, I'll have a tendency to mess up the stamp design underneath. Some people work fine with using a wood stick. Um, but I just, I'm too heavy handed. So I always end up like stabbing my uh, stamped design and then it gets all ruined underneath. Aw, oh, chit chat, thank you so much for the sweet comment. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so while this is drying, I'm just gonna pull this off. Be really careful when you pull this off too because you don't want to squeeze the stamper too much. It'll mess up your polish, especially since it's drying. And we're going to switch over and check on this. See how this is doing? Mm. It's still a little bit wet, especially right here. We can just give it a, a little break. And Jennifer is here and she's so awesome because she's just like helping me switch out the stamper heads and stuff so that way I can continue to keep going. Okay, next we want to get some of these beautiful floral designs that my coworker, uh, Jesse created. So I think this is still a little wet. You wanna make sure that when you're um, applying your nail foil glue that the surface is completely dry. You don't wanna drag off any wet polish. So I think we still have to give this a few more moments to dry. I applied a pretty heavy coat, so I think that's why it's taking a little bit longer. But typically they they dry pretty dry fast. fast right? Yeah. You only need one coat, yeah. Yeah. So most of the time with our stamping polishes, they're very opaque. So you just need one coat, and that's plenty. Um. So we can go ahead and clean our plate. And let's see. I believe Jesse used this really cute dainty flower and she did a double stamp in black and pink. So I am going to, I think she used actually a lot of these flowers I'm seeing. She grabbed a lot of these really pretty flowers from this plate. I thought it came from here, but I think it came from here. I think maybe she only got the leaves from this plate. But, um, let me go ahead and grab, let's see, let's grab this little pink, or this little flower, it's going to be pink. <laughs> so use your Noir Black, or sorry, your straight up black, whatever black you have. <laughs> and pick up your design. Make sure to clean it off. 
There we go. And now you're gonna color it in with a really pretty salmon color from the Romantica collection. Perennials. Perennial collection. <laughs> Good thing I have Jennifer by my side. I don't know what I'd do. So many colors. We have so many colors here. Okay. So you can go ahead and just drag that polish to the outer corners. Okay, see? I already pushed a little too hard and I smudged it just a bit. So don't be like me, don't push too hard. Be very careful. And then while that is drying, this should be, that's, I think that's ready. Mm, I don't know guys, I kind of had bad, ju bad judgment when it comes to this. Maybe I'll just let it sit just to be <laughs> safer. And in the meantime, this should definitely be ready, yep. No smudge stains when I like touch it. Nothing comes off of my finger. Perfect. So next you are going to grab your nail tip. Now that the nail foil glue is dry. So okay, when you apply nail foil glue, there should be no residue on your finger. That's how you know it's dry. If you touch it and there's no residue, it doesn't feel sticky, it's ready. Can you hear the sound it makes? Here, I'm trying to exaggerate the sound. Did you guys hear that? Like tape. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds sticky, but you don't see anything coming off. That's the point. Okay, so next we are going to stamp this directly on. You guys can kind of see. And there is our beautiful floral design that says mom on it. So this nail tip is significantly smaller, which um, is why this looks like so spaced out in comparison. But I wanted to do it on a large nail tip so that way you guys could really see it um, very easily because if I do it on a small nail or small nail tip, you won't be able to see as much of the designs and what's going on. So yeah, for this, I usually like to top it in a no smudge or I always call it no smudge because it doesn't smudge. <laughs> um, I always like to top it in a smudge free top coat. And then because I love um, that really glossy gel like look, I usually wait until this dries and then I do speed dry over. I like how this speed dry can be really thick and fluffy looking if you apply a nice heavy coat. And it's very, very shiny and glossy, and I absolutely love that. So I always do that after I apply the no smudge. The no smudge for me just really helps to make sure that once I do my designs, I don't have to worry about going back and like accidentally messing it or having to redo it because it, you know, kind of smudged a little bit. And I know that a lot of people use the floating technique when they apply top coat, but even with that, there's still a small percentage to me where you know, something you could go wrong. It. Yeah, you know, you just never know. Especially if you're not sure how wet your base polishes are. I just don't even want to take the chance to drag it and then accidentally smudge it. So that's why I always use smudge free. So I'm going to set that aside. Or, well, actually, you know what? I'll set it up here so you guys can continue to look at it. And um, this is definitely dry. Yeah, that's what we want. Perfect. So make sure you apply your nail foil glue onto this too, especially because we're going to be doing a lot of reverse stamping for this. Apply a thin coat. You do not need to cap your free edge for this. It's actually better if you don't. Oops, got a little bubble in there. You can kind of see the paint marks. Um, but that'll all disappear because it dries clear. <clears throat> so someone said that they always get bubbles with top coat, what to do? One thing to be aware of when you are using top coat is um, make sure you don't shake the bottle. You don't need to like do a shake like this with top coat. You know, it's already clear. 
there's really nothing to mix up. If for some reason you absolutely need to shake it, always shake this way. This will not cause bubbles. This will most certainly cause bubbles. Another problem that could be <laughs> happening if you get bubbles in your top coat is you might actually be applying the layer too thick or your top coat might be a little bit too dried out. So if you're applying a thick layer of top coat but your top coat's already kind of thick and getting you know towards the end, you will most certainly end up having bubbles. I don't know why, but for some reason, older, thicker top coats applied thickly will cause bubbles. So just be aware of that. Um, thinner layers of top coat are better and less likely to have bubbles. Um, but if the top coat is already too thick and old, it's gonna be really hard to apply that thin layer. So this is drying nicely, and I think our leaves are almost done drying. Let's see. Okay. No, it's still not, it still feels a little sticky. If you touch this and it feels cold, it's not dry yet. And same with polish. If you touch polish and it feels cold, it's not dry. It may not come off out in your finger. It may not cause a smudge mark. But if it's cold, that means it's still drying. You'll know that it's dry when it doesn't feel cold anymore, when it doesn't come off on your finger, um, when you can like actually press and nothing comes off. That's what you want, that's the goal. So we're gonna put this down and allow this to dry. Jennifer, do we have another, oh yeah, we do. We have another stamper right here. <laughs> Um, so in the meantime, we are going to actually work on getting more of these floral details that Jesse created and we want to make sure that we get all those like pretty little lines and flowers. So if you can see here, let's see if I can point you guys to this. If you can see this, um, there's like a pretty little flower down here that Jesse colored in and so she took the flower that's right here. So we're going to pick that flower up and color that in. So going with your Noir Black, you can go ahead and just pick that up. And we can isolate all of this now. Oops. Having that wet acetone soaked cotton really helps. Oops. Let me see. Oh no, I'm okay. So go ahead and continue to just like clean away all that stuff that we don't need. And if you want to learn more about how to modify your stamps or isolate a design, we also have a live session for that. And it's, I think it's called How to Modify Your Nail Stamp Design. Yep. And it's on our YouTube channel. So go ahead and check that out. There we go. So now we isolated just the part that we want. Oh, see, it's too dry. It's not coming off with them. That little trick that I do. <clears throat> But that's okay, we won't need that part. Um, next, you want to color in your flower with that light pink from the Perennials collection. It's so funny. So a lot of times, I'm the one who picks these polishes. Um, and I usually have a little uh, assistance from Jennifer. She'll kind of also help steer me into the right direction. But um, I always forget the names of them. <laughs> Do you want to tell them how you got the name of Rosewater? Um, I would like to tell them if I could remember. Remember you telling us how um, you use Rosewater to as a skincare? Oh yes. Okay. So let me tell you the most awful story that ever <laughs> happened for Valentine's Day. Okay. So 
two days before Valentine's Day, I went to Lush. I don't know if you guys all know that store. Um, Lush sells a lot, to, a lot of natural cosmetics, which is great. They also sell a lot of natural skincare. Okay, first of all, wait, before we go with that story, <laughs> look at this. This is what we want. You hear the sound. It's not coming off of my finger. It's tacky. It's ready. So I went to the store called Lush. And Lush had all these like awesome products, but I naturally has very, very, very sensitive skin. And um, I just, I can't just use anything. Um, so I'm very, very particular about what products I use. If I find something that I like, I usually stick with it for like ever until I have to give it up. Okay, I am gonna need some mental concentration for this. <laughs> We're gonna apply one leaf here. Here we go. We got one leaf there. And we're gonna need to apply another leaf down here. And since my nail tip is a lot bigger, I'm gonna just do one more over there. Okay. So, anyways, as I was saying, was um, I went to a store called Lush, and I they gave me they were so sweet. They hooked me up with all these amazing samples, and they were showing me all these cool things. And it was the first Valentine's Day I was having with my current boyfriend we've been together for like like almost seven years but I think that was like our first Valentine's and we we're really new like to each other we'd only been dating for like a month so I was all excited I was like oh yeah I'm gonna get all beautiful make sure my skin's all gorgeous and in the meantime we're gonna be using the screen <laughs> um, it's gonna be amazing and then I took home all these amazing products and I was like okay I'm gonna give myself like a whole little spa routine by the way, in case you guys are wondering what the heck's happening, we're about to do a double stamp. Um, so I was going to give myself this like fabulous skincare routine, and I was so stoked about it. Um, so I get home, and I try on um, some kind of like facial cream that they gave me. Uh, or no, facial wash. And I wash my face with that, and then they gave me some kind of like skincare cream to put on after, and I put that on, and I was so happy, and I was like, oh, this is the best day ever. Okay, two hours later, I was like, why is my face itchy? My face feels really itchy. And I was just trying to figure out like, hmm, I wonder what it was. I don't know why my face is so itchy, but it was ridiculously, oh, look. I waited too long. Now you need tape. Um, my face was so ridiculously itchy and I couldn't even handle it. And I was like, kept on scratching. And then all of a sudden I started to notice my face was turning red. And I was like, why is my face turning red? And then an hour later goes by and I notice like, oh, not only is my face turning red, but now it's getting swollen. And I'm like, what the frick is going on? There's the double stamp. I'm like, what's happening? Why is my face turning red? Why is it getting swollen? Next thing I knew, by like hour three, my whole face swelled up like a balloon and my eyes were swollen shut. Oh, okay. Be careful about the double stamping when you're doing this. Don't be like me. I just totally tried to like do it an easy way and it, it didn't work. <laughs> um, Happy mistakes. Happy mistakes, that's what we're calling them. There we go. So, you kind of get the picture. This is the correct thing that you're supposed to do. This is not the correct thing that you're supposed to do. So be aware of that when you're doing this. It kind of works though. We're, yeah, we're gonna make it work. <laughs> um, so yeah, my face blowed up like a balloon, and it was bad, guys. I had to take, like, Benadryl. I was out for two days. I literally was out. I couldn't do anything because I couldn't see because my eyes were swollen because <laughs> I put that stupid cream over my entire face. Was I, that rose water? It, was ro it had rose water in it. So 
Yeah, I never forgot, uh, you know, rose water. <laughs> okay, now we want to go ahead and take this cute little flower and I'm going to just stamp it right here and cover up that weird green mark. There you go. That. Now you don't even know it's there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the same for this guy. Let's see. I'm going to stamp it right here. Okay. Don't worry about this. We're going to clean that up. No one's going to even see it. We're going to stamp over it. So it was bad. It was really bad. So it lasted for, okay. So after the swelling went down, my whole face got really, really dry. And I mean, it was, it was unpleasantly dry. Next, take black and we're gonna pick up this flower. <laughs> this is real girl talk right now. Yeah, we're having some real girl talk. So my face, um, you know, the swelling went down, but it was still kind of red and uh, it like started peeling. It was kind of like the skin was like kind of rough and naturally I have a pretty smooth complexion. So it was really weird. Um, and it was so embarrassing because it happened on Valentine's Day. Yeah, on or Valentine's Day. Before. It was two days before Valentine's Day, but the effects were so bad that it lasted for like on Valentine's Day. I almost wanted to call it off with my boyfriend. I was like, I can't go out. I'm sorry. I really wanted to, but he was like, no, it's okay, babe. Like, it's okay. And he was so sweet. He like took me shopping and was amazing. And he made my whole day amazing. Um, even though my face looked awful and I couldn't wear any makeup because it would have just like made it worse. Made it so bad because it was so bumpy already. And um yeah, so that's how I ended up I guess I decided to name it Rose Water because I never forgot that and because this polish kind of reminds me of rose water. So now we're gonna do a double stamp over this black design. There you go. Kind of creates that shadow effect. That's yes. Underneath. It definitely does. Then we're going to take this very pretty gold, I mean, flower, and we're going to stamp it in black with the leaves and all. And then you are going to go ahead and double stamp this. So make sure you clean up all this unwanted stuff. So yeah, you know, just precaution when you're trying new skincare. I should have used precaution, but I didn't. I just got all excited about, you know, the free giveaways and all that other stuff that they always entice you with. And it was so hard for me. Like, I couldn't blame them. They didn't know that I was allergic to rose water. I didn't know I was allergic to rose water, but I think I am. I It was hard for me to kind of... Um, rule out exactly what product caused it, caused me to react, or what ingredient caused me to react, because I used so many products that night, but for some reason, I, I don't remember why I thought this, but I thought it was the rose water that did it. Possibly because I'd never really used rose water for my skincare. But I know a lot of people who do, and they have no problems. I think I was just, yeah, I'm just a little too sensitive to everything. Since I didn't get that flower in the first time, I'm gonna Take a go at it now. Then clean off that same design and then you're gonna double stamp it in gold. This is pretty cool because she basically recreated a full nail design by choosing and isolating the flowers she wanted. That is 100% correct. She made her own pattern by isolating everything. And you can do it too at home. But yeah, I won't lie, I don't really shop at Lush anymore. I think I'm a little too scared. <laughs> um, I still do. Yeah, they have awesome products too. Lip scrubs are great.
This is getting to be all kinds of weird, but because <laughs> I'm not stamping perfectly, but it's okay. You can just keep on filling up the designs um, and we can keep on covering it. So next she used a double stamp to do these flowers over here. So I see that she kind of did the vines and things. And you can just go ahead and take whatever vines you want and start double stamping them. For this, she used black and then she also used, what is that pink color called, Jennifer? That, um, babe magnet? She used babe magnet from our whatever forever collection. So I'm choosing to do these vines, but you don't have to do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill spots that I think need more design. Okay. And I feel like this, it needs another flower here too. So I'm gonna go back over those spots with this really pretty pink. Ooh. It's okay. It's okay, the bottle's closed, guys. <laughs> So now you'll know the true meaning behind the name Rosewater. You can think about my puffy face. <laughs> and why you should also never try products without knowing what's in, it. what's in it and what you're allergic to. Okay. So here's the fun part. Let's see if I can line things up accurately. There we go, yeah, we're doing it. Yep. Okay, we're doing the double stamp. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up with more flowers because um, like I said, this, oops, this nail tip uh, is a lot smaller than the one that I'm working on, so it would have filled it up, but because I'm doing such a large space, we need something more to kind of fill the space. So I'm gonna go ahead and add maybe another flower. I think I'll double stamp. Yeah, something pretty. Let's try this peach color, or actually let's do pink. I let that sit on the stamper for a hot second. But I managed to still get it. Okay. So you can just fill it right there. You can color it in if you want. Um, I decided not to because I don't want to necessarily sit and make you guys wait for like another five minutes. <laughs> So yeah, you can continue to color this in. You can fill it up more if you want. Um, I think I just wanna fill things in a little bit more because I see that we're kind of bare in some spots. So I'm gonna just use some of these little gold flowers and, and I decided I also wanna change my stamper card because it's already getting kind of dirty. Do you guys have any questions so far about this manicure? Yeah, how are you guys doing? A lot of love on the Instagram. 
Yay! I'm so happy you guys are enjoying this live session. Um, but I think it's pretty full now. So don't be like me. Remember, only double stamp one at a time. I tried to be a hog cheese and like pick up three leaves and try to double stamp it so that way I didn't have to stamp three times. Um, or like scrape three times to get the three leaves. Patience is key with stamping. Patience is key. Because if not, you end up with things like that. So don't do that. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Um, Rebecca on Facebook asked, what did I use for it to be sticky? Polish decal. The top coat ends up melting the polished decal and then when I stamp it, it like smudges or something weird happens to it. And I really, really don't like that. Um, so this takes care of that because it's not going to smudge. Someone asked, can I use a quick dry top coat before applying foil glue? Yes, you can. You can use this over top coat. You can use this over any polish, whatever you want, um, even over gel and acrylic. Just make sure that whenever you're using this, your base is completely dry. Do not use this while your polish is wet because one, I think it helps, like, it can keep the polish wet, I feel like. When I've tried to apply it on wet polish, one, it'll pull off polish. Two, I notice it'll, like, make the polish dry even slower. So make sure that when you're applying this, your base is completely dry. Um, so yeah, is there any other questions that you guys have? Because if Later. not, oh look, yeah. One last look. Give you guys one last look of the design that we did today. And let me flip over the, I think it was like something like this. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, here, <laughs> let me do it. Okay, I'm just gonna switch them all around now. And there you go. Yeah, right here. So, if you ever recreate this for your Mother's Day for yourself or for a fellow friend, sister, or even your mom or grandma, go ahead and share your experience and your work with us on hashtag Bundle Monster. We want to see what you guys create and if our tips were helpful. Yes, we always want to see... <laughs> we always want to see what you guys create. Okay. So please make sure you guys always, you know what, mention us. We love to see that kind of stuff. Because we check our hashtags all the time, guys. All the time. So... We see the nice things that people say, we see the other things that people say, we see everything. <laughs> um, so yeah. Mm, I think that's it. Oh, yep, that's it. <laughs> have a good time, guys, and um, have a good Mother's Day because we are doing this pretty early, so... See you later. <laughs>